We're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions on the latest games releasing. Well, today we're doing a quick one. We're just breaking something down I've been playing this week, and that is Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered Edition. That's, that's what they're actually calling it. This is a cleaned up HD re-release of the 2009 game, Red Faction Guerrilla. Released in the midst of like so many other awesome games at the time during the PS3 360 era, I do think this one was overlooked by the majority of folks. I'm doing it before you buy on it, partly just because I love an excuse to play and talk about this cool game again that I really enjoyed back in the day. And while the remaster is fine, I'm not sure the entire package holds up in 2018. Still, I think it's a nice trip down memory lane. I'll start with some of the good stuff, and that is how the game plays. You're tasked with overthrowing an occupying force on Mars as a bunch of miners who went from proud workers to oppressed slaves. You're this newcomer, Alec Mason, and basically you just gotta blow everything up. That is 100% the best part about this open world third person action game. Most missions like main or side just require you to wreck stuff. The Red Faction games back in the day were always known for their destruction, but Guerrilla is all about toppling massive actual buildings and structures, and you have the freedom to do it pretty much however you want. Planting explosive charges, ramming a truck into stuff, uh, creating black hole voids, rocket launchers, or just smacking weak points with your sledgehammer. And that hammer itself is really a testament to the best aspects of the game. Buildings collapse not only realistically, but in a fun and satisfying way. Still, to this day, the destruction feels really ahead of its time. The tech here is great. The feedback between the control of it and the vibration the controller gives you makes breaking stuff with a hammer so satisfying. And the game knows it too. The whole thing is designed around destruction for the most part. When it's not, that's when some of the cracks start to show though. You're in charge of overthrowing the EDF. They're called the Earth Defense Force. Yes, that's what they're actually called. No relation, but yeah. So you do that by blowing up their shit to slowly take control of one of a few chunks of a fairly nice sized open world map. Everything you do in the world contributes to something, like helping folks out with random side missions contributes to the area's morale meter. The higher this morale, the better bonus pants you get and random civilians in the world are more likely to take up a gun and start helping you out of nowhere. The main currency for Alec Mason is scrap, which you earn through completing stuff and knocking down stuff and picking up the bits and pieces that spawn. You use this scrap to upgrade the capabilities of you, your weapons, and your armor. The progression system here is really, really simple, but it's drip fed pretty nicely. And just like my first playthrough with the game, it kept me pretty hooked all the same with getting better weapons to blow stuff up more effectively. The cracks, like I said, start to show when you're not blowing stuff up. Cutscenes were not remastered and they look pretty rough. And, and not only that, they're just not interesting. The story here is pretty simple and basic. They could have went full Starship Troopers, but they only took it halfway. Thankfully though, the story never really gets in the way, except for when the game pauses and shows you mission screen dialogue stuff. That's about it. It's like the game is aware that you're just really here to blow stuff up and gives you just a basic story and a basic reason for doing, and that's it. And I kind of respect that. General combat and open world navigation is hit and miss. Some people really don't like the shooting. Maybe it's the controls or just the aspects of it. I don't mind the controls. They're extremely simplistic and just get the job done. And at the very least, the feedback of the shooting is decent. But what may bore you are the dumb, mindless enemies that consistently just kind of run towards you out in the open. Enemies are challenging sometimes and good shots when they're in numbers, but they also just manage to feel like dumb fodder most of the time. They also just sometimes get in the way of you wanting to do the more fun stuff. Aside from that though, driving can kind of be lame too. The, the further you get into the game, the better the vehicles are when they become faster and have mounted weapons. But aside from some speed and some jumps, driving them around just kind of feels whatever. Maybe it's the semi-sparse environments combined with that, I, I don't know. But it's really just not the main draw of the game, except when you're in a tank because it's easier and more fun to blow stuff up. That's where the game again, keeps shining. But really, it's the little diversions in the game that are the best. My favorites are the side missions that require demolishing a building in a certain time limit with only a certain tool set. And you know, you can keep replaying to kind of best your time and beat your personal score. And that's where the game really shines. Like thankfully, the game does know that and embraces this mode in a similar separate option in the main menu, as well as the ability to just destroy stuff with a friend. Now I'm glad they kept that stuff because my friends and I had tons of fun wrecking stuff together in 2009, back when I did actually have friends. As far as the remaster goes, it's fine, I guess. The PC version is upgraded from the original, which is cool. That's what I played. Uh, PS4 and Xbox One versions can also apparently support some higher resolutions, and overall the game just has better lighting and improved textures and stuff like that. That's all they really did. The AI isn't fixed, a lot of the weird bugs aren't fixed, 
It's just a straight up quick cleanup job. And that's fine, I didn't expect it to look great, but it's just worth pointing out. Of course on PC it's worth mentioning that the frame rate is totally fine and goes flawless when you're blowing a bunch of stuff. But on the other side of the fence with some folks I've been talking to on the PS4 Pro side, even that doesn't totally hold up when you're blowing a bunch of stuff up. Apparently the frame rate does dip, but nothing is unplayable. The game is pretty fine tuned at this point. Just overall design wise though, otherwise the game does feel a little bit dated. Open world fatigue is definitely now a thing. At the time, this game was right in line with open world trends and it felt cool, but here it dries up a little bit because we've seen all this stuff so many times before. I really only see myself coming back to this game for short play sessions, like, you know, cause some fun, satisfying destruction, blow some stuff up, and then just move on to something else. It's not a bad game, it just hasn't aged like a fine wine, you know what I mean? It's still very fun, turn off your brain type of stuff, I do just wish I wasn't coming back to this game with a more critical eye because there are some of those glaring issues now. But it's 2018 and that's how we roll, I guess. If you want harmless fun with no strings attached, consider this on sale or something because I think there is still enough fun to be had that it's worth mentioning. But that's it, really. That's Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered Edition. I still totally can't get used to saying that. But still, this is a before you buy. You know how it goes down by now. I give you some pros, some cons, and some personal opinions. So now I definitely want to hear yours down in the comments. How do you feel about this game and overall the Red Faction series? My favorites still are 1 and 2, the original games, but I, I want to know how you feel about this, how you feel about Armageddon. Did you know it had a show on sci-fi for a brief minute? Let's talk about anything Red Faction down in the comments. I'll be down there talking to you guys, and if you got any other questions, be sure to hit me up. But if you enjoyed this video, clicking the like button does help us out. We really appreciate it. And if you are new, consider subscribing because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.